Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Tuesday, of course, Sean Payton announced that uh, he was stepping down and no longer be the Saints head coach. The uh, 72 hours since have been uh, a ton of conversation uh, reflecting on Sean Payton's time in New Orleans, but also a look ahead as to what's next. Uh, what we know from reports right now are that uh, Brian Flores, the latest name uh, to be sought after, request permission for an interview with Brian Flores uh, for the Saints job. Add that to uh, Byron Lefwich and Aaron Glenn. And then the in-house candidate that we all uh, assume is the front runner in Dennis Allen. So uh, Mickey Loomis on Friday for the first time spoke. Now, he was asked to reflect on Sean Payton, their friendship, his time together. And Mickey Loomis passed. Uh, he said, I'm, I'm going to talk about that next week in Mobile at the Senior Bowl. But he wanted to give it some more time to fully digest it. And I believe the way he said it is he wanted to be able to uh, answer it appropriate, appropriately. So Mickey Loomis will talk about Sean Payton next week uh, at, when they're at the Senior Bowl, and he meets with the media there. In the meantime, the, the questions today were about this coaching search and how it's all going to come together. And one thing is very different, or is, is clear, is that this is a very different reality that they're facing right now from the last time Mickey Loomis did this in 2006. Obviously, it's different now. We're not coming off of anything like that. We're coming off of a, a, a long run of, of success. Um, we're coming, you know, with 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 uh, um, a different process that exists even within the league rules. Um, so, you know, it's just it's just completely different, really, in, in, in a lot of ways. Other than, hey, we're looking for a head coach. Of course, in 2006, uh, the Saints post Katrina didn't know what the status was of the franchise. I mean, there was conversations about moving the team. We all know that that got squashed. But were the Saints going to be in New Orleans? Were they going to be in the Dome? Uh, were Could free agents and coaches find a place to live in New Orleans? I mean, 16 years removed, it, it's hard... Even for those of us that lived it, it's hard to put yourself back straight into the mindset of what that time was like in the days, weeks, and months after Katrina. But it is a completely different reality today than it was 16 years ago. Now, the other thing, while that's a positive, you have a, a winning franchise. Uh, by the way, can you play, um, play number seven, Muse? Uh, Mickey, the other thing that he talked about was what types of uh, calls has he fielded inbound? People who co contacted him about the Saints job. There wasn't anybody ringing my phone 16 years ago. I was having to ring theirs. And, and it wasn't always positive when I did get a hold of someone 16 years ago. Um, this is, we've had a lot of outreach, a lot of people interested uh, in coming to New Orleans. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's completely different in terms of, I think, how we're perceived. So understand, right? You're just, it, it's a, Mickey Loomis was the one that selected Sean Payton back in 2006, along with the late Tom Benson. And it's just a, a completely different reality now where he has inbound interest. People who want this job. You have a franchise that uh, only the Kansas City Chiefs has won more games than the New Orleans Saints over the last five years. You've won a Super Bowl. You've been to three conference championship games. You, you had won four straight division titles before this season. You have a winning culture and all of those things. So it is a completely different reality. The interest is robust. The thing working against New Orleans is they got a late start. And the fact that most teams in the market for a coach were in the market for a coach the day, you know, that Black Monday or, or within the 48 hours after week 18. The Saints are two weeks behind on this process. But Loomis kind of shrugged that off today. I don't see it as a uh, as, you know a significant factor. Obviously, you know a couple teams have, are farther down the process, and um, <clears throat> and a couple guys have been hired already. But I'm not not overly concerned with that. I you know I think our circumstances are different. Um, you know, there's eight teams where they let go a, a head coach, and and 
you know, I think their their situation is different than ours. You know, when you have, um, you know, a coach retire and, and you have a lot of really good things in place already. That's his very polite way of saying they fired their coach because they stink. People won our job because we're good. We won nine games this year. We have a good culture and all this sort of stuff. It's completely different. Like, we're not in a rush like they are because we don't have as much work to do. We got a good roster and good coaches and good culture and management. Like, our coach isn't here not because we fired him because he stunk because he was just stepping away after 16 years. Um, as far as the time frame, Mickey – and listen, every year there's a – every year Mickey Loomis does a press conference before the draft, and I always laugh at it because it's the most worthless uh, time spent ever with a GM. Why in the world the day before the draft is will a GM or a head coach – divulge anything about their strategy going into this this critical, pivotal, formulative event. They, they say nothing. They say a whole lot of nothing. And this, this, in some respects, was similar, but Mickey Loomis was kind of asked on a time frame when they would like to have a coach in place. I wouldn't say that I have some drop-dead date. Obviously, you want to you know move the process around as quickly as possible, and yet it's more important to get it right than it is to be quick. And um, you know we're going to be diligent about that. He was very clear that they're going to go through the full process, that they have a bunch of candidates that they want to interview, but he didn't have a set number. He said they'd like to do in-person interviews, but with COVID and timing, that may not be completely possible. Also talked about the possibility of interviewing coaches that are still coaching this weekend. So, you know, Eric Bieniemy is a name that a lot of people have mentioned. Well, he may be coaching. He's coaching in the AFC Championship game and could well be coaching in a, a Super Bowl two weeks from Sunday. So that could delay your process even further if that's the guy you're targeting. I'm not saying it is, but I I do understand the question about the time frame being a, a little bit off there. The other thing that he was very adamant about, and this is why it's maybe a little bit of a tip to Dennis Allen or an in-house candidate. Mickey Loomis was clear, this is not a, a blow the thing up and start over situation. We don't see it as, as a... Uh wholesale culture change, roster change, anything like that. Look, we, we've we got a lot of good things here. And um, doesn't mean that it can't be improved and built upon, but, but um, you know, it's as Sean said in his press conference, he, he's leaving um, with the franchise in a much better place than, than, uh, than when he got here. Uh, you heard Mickey say the word, that operative word, which we've talked about so many times, which Sean Payton used as well. Culture. It matters a lot in New Orleans. It mattered when Sean got here. He blew out entitled veterans like Wayne Gandy. It happened again whenever there were guys that weren't really locker room or team guys when they had the back to back to back seven and nine seasons. But back then he blew out Dante Stallworth as well, a former first round pick. You know, they moved Jimmy Graham. They moved a lot of guys, Kenny Stills, productive guys that they thought weren't great locker room or team guys at the time. Uh, they wanted to create that culture. So important. And that's why Dennis Allen is an attractive candidate. And Loomis was asked specifically about Dennis Allen today. He's qualified. He has experience. He understands our culture here. There's just, you know, I, you know, we just know a lot about him. He, he, he's an excellent candidate. Uh, um, and there are some others as well. As far as in-house uh, is what he meant there, was there being others as well. I'm not sure who else, as far as an in-house uh, candidate, would, would be a candidate for the head coaching job. Um, I, I, I don't know that Pete Carmichael is is of that ilk. We, we talk about Pete a lot, but I think he's sort of just been typecast as a career assistant. Um, there's always the possibility Ryan Nielsen could be elevated, but it's atypical that you go from a position coach to a head coach. So... I'm not really sure who that guy would be. Chris Richard has been a, uh, a a coordinator as well. Maybe that could be a possibility if that's who Mickey's talking about. Or maybe just saying that so as not to tip his hand. But the thing that's clear today is that Mickey Loomis is being um, evasive as usual, but or, or close to the vest as usual, but also very specific in pointing out it's a great job. They've had a ton of interest in it. He's going to move quickly, but doesn't have a specific time frame would like to do in-person interviews, but realize that may not be possible. They're willing to wait if there's a candidate they like that they have to wait a few more weeks to talk to. So it may be a little further in this process, but when you have the structure like New Orleans has, there isn't a great rush because you do have so many pieces in place already to keep moving through this, this postseason, this offseason here uh, to get the roster ready for 2022 until they name that next head coach.
Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.